influencers, no matter what you do, you can't escape them. While more often than not, their 15 minutes of fame disappears without an explanation, some have the dubious honor of doing it to themselves. For IO, I'm Ethan, and here's 10 influencers who hit rock bottom. If you want to get buff, it makes sense that you'd look at someone who looks like if a bicep became a living human. That person, the liver king. And for years, he vouched for his rather unusual diet and constantly reaffirmed to fans that everything he was doing was complete natural. Right. Take one look at this man and tell me he isn't using some type of performance in hand. But to his millions of fans on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, he was an unrealistic body goal that young adults could hope to attain one day. Then it turned out he was spending over $10,000 on steroids and using testosterone daily to help with his game. He tried defending himself by minimizing the actual controversy and trying to bring to the forefront the importance he's doing, but that didn't stop some of his fans from slapping him with a lawsuit for false advertising and selling supplements that he claimed would help you get that buff bod. The moral of the story is, if you see a guy looking like this, eating raw liver, and saying he does it without any additional help, he's either got some otherworldly genetics or he's on something. So if you're watching this and want to look like that, naturally, sorry, it just isn't going to happen. So maybe cook your liver. Speaking about influencers who lied to their fans, one of the most famous is the case of Belle Gibson. The creator of the Whole Pantry app and later its complimentary cookbook, Gibson made the ridiculous claim that she had been able to beat multiple types of cancers through diet and alternative medicine. Along with that, she claimed that a high amount of the proceeds she received from those sales would be donated to charity as a way of not only spreading the word about her film philanthropic efforts, but helping people along the way. Turns out, neither of those claims were remotely accurate. As in 2015, she admitted that none of the significant illnesses she's had in her life ever actually happened, and the $300,000 she claimed would be donated never was. The end result, Gibson was raided by Australian police twice for breaking consumer laws, and in the most recent raid back in 2021, it was released that she owes more than $500,000. She was actually just interviewed on ITVX's The Search for Instagram's Worst Con artist, so who knows? Maybe she'll rise to popularity once again. I sure hope not. The most recent situation on our list, we have the charges that were levied on Turkish social media star Dylan Polat. With just around 7 million followers on Instagram, Polat lavished in her wealthy lifestyle, going on expensive dates with her husband Engin and posting videos about the two of them and how much they love each other. I mean, they even got a billboard to show it. But the way she got the money to afford it left quite a bit of controversy, as the two of them were detained and accused of money laundering and fraud. According to the Financial Crimes Investigation in Turkey, about 9.2 million was deposited into the accounts of close relatives of the Polat couple based on fake receipts issued for fake transactions by the three companies owned by them just before their liquidation. It was later revealed that these funds were circulated between companies owned by family members and the money was used to buy properties, expensive cars, and other fantastical ways to show each other how much they love. I mean, the couple has posted an apology post on Instagram, but Turkey is really harsh on their financial crimes charges. So this couple might have a difficult time I'm showing their love if they're behind bars. If you're young, have a lot of money, and like driving fast cars, make sure not to do it on streets where people are walking. That was the case for social media star Cameron Heron, who in 2021 was sentenced to 24 years in prison for ending the life of a woman and her daughter in 2018. The horrific incident occurred after Heron and his friend were street racing at over 100 miles per hour in a 45 zone, and Heron could not slam the brakes in time as the woman and the stroller she were pushing were crossing the street. Heron appealed the decision in 2022 but the sentence was upheld, and despite efforts on social media to free him and give him a second chance, it appears he's going to be thinking about his terrible decision for a long time. This goes to show that no matter how many followers you may have online, if you do something horrible, there's repercussion, or at least there should be. Unfortunately, Heron isn't the only social influencer to receive criminal charges involving a crash. Trevor Jacob, a stuntman, snowboarder, and former pilot, filmed himself intentionally crashing a plane so he could jump out in spectacular fashion, all for his YouTube channel. In the video, which was uploaded in 2021, Jacob explains that he has engine issues before ejecting from the single passenger plane, selfie stick in hand. The facts that delegitimize his claim were the cameras placed all through the forest, showing the plane going down in numerous different angles. Turns out, intentionally creating a crash like that is a federal offense. Who knew? The Federal Aviation Administration launched a probe into it, removing his pilot license. Jacob also attempted to remove the wreckage before they did so, and lied to federal investigators about it. And for that, he pled guilty to one count of destruction and concealment with the intent to obstruct a federal investigation, a crime that carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in federal prison. Looks like for the time being, the only planes he'll be flying 
or paper airplanes. With over half a million Instagram followers and a viral rap song about being vegan, Kyle O'Sullivan once had a promising career as an internet celebrity. While the rap and vegan market was already a pretty specific niche, it quickly came to an end when his dysfunctional relationship came to the news. Kyle was sentenced to 12 months for leaving threatening voice messages to his ex-girlfriend and standing outside her house with a vegan-friendly hammer. In one of the numerous incidents detailed in court, his seven-year-old daughter was present and begging him to go away as he screamed at them all. Shortly after his release, you guessed it, Kyle began calling his girlfriend up to 50 times a day, eventually going so far as to follow her around a store. In one message, he threatened to end his life and blame it on her. This time, he was given 16 months in prison, effectively destroying his career. And just like that, the vegan rap industry came to an end. And I, for one, will not be losing any sleep over it. What is it with YouTubers and threatening people outside their house? Well, Ben Armstrong, better known under his social media name of BitBoy, is a cryptocurrency influencer, which is already a red flag. He was charged with loitering and simple assault after live streaming outside a former associate's house and demanding that he return possession of his Lamborghini. Reportedly, he had a firearm in his possession and Armstrong ended up posting bail for his action, but he still faced multiple charges. Afterwards, he posted an apology on X for his actions and took a break from social media. But just like his crypto, just when you think it's done, it returns again. Also because of this, some of the tokens he was pumping dropped around 30% in value. So not only did his stupid decision affect himself, it potentially had huge consequences for thousands of people. Oral of the story, not only do you need to be very wary with crypto, but also the people who promote it. Or you can just avoid it like me. All right, this might be a controversial take, but don't come at me for it. But having to look after eight younglings is far too many. But that was the whole appeal for Ruby Frank and her YouTube channel Eight Passengers, which showed viewers a glimpse into the difficulties of raising a family with that many people. While everything might have seemed happy on the outside, on the inside was hell on earth for her sons and daughters, who were reportedly malnourished, covered in wounds, and had duct tape attached to their ankles. Frank was arrested on multiple counts for her litany of atrocities, which included removing some of their bathroom privileges and forcing one of them to sleep on a beanbag chair for seven months. The only way Frank was caught was because one of her daughters climbed through a window and told her neighbor to call the cop. The neighbor obliged because they themselves had concerns concerns over there being long periods of time without adult supervision. And fortunately, because of that, Ruby and her business partner Jody were brought to justice. Frank faces six counts that each carry up to a 15 year sentence. So luckily, and hopefully, she'll be locked away for a long, long time. Around 10 years ago, FouseyTube was one of the biggest channels on YouTube. And now all everyone thinks about is his recent arrest. It's really a sad transformation for someone who was all over the website. One of the original pranksters, Fousey unintentionally created a whole world of unfunny replications of his videos. And that's not to say his videos didn't garner a whole bunch of controversy back then. With numerous accusations about them being dangerous, staged, or both, Fousey decided to leave YouTube and focus on his mental health for miraculously making a comeback in 2021. That probably wasn't the greatest decision because ever since then, he's been surrounded by controversy, being banned from TikTok for hateful comments towards the LGBTQ plus community and filming a highly offensive prank at an airport involving an apparently intoxicated woman. His most recent outburst resulted in him calling the cops on himself while live streaming, leaving viewers wondering just how real it actually was. It turns out it was legit and he's currently undergoing care for his mental health issues. And so while I might not agree with a lot of what he said, I hope he's receiving the help that he fingers crossed, this means no more offensive prank. The final one on our list is one I'm sure most of you have heard of and remember his situation well. That man, Shane Dawson. Garnering over 500 million views, Dawson had the YouTube world in the palm of his hand before he managed to throw it all away. Dawson's videos were always on the not PG side with some characters going too far, leading to a whole bunch of complaints about some of the racial connotations his characters had. Along with that, concerning remarks about relations with cats he made on a podcast were brought up and that really didn't help Help his cause. YouTube announced they would be suspending monetization from his channel, and Walmart took all copies of his two published book off the shelf. Dawson's apology video went viral, and the growing consensus was that your actions, they actually have consequences. Something that he should have thought of 15 years ago when he started making this controversial content. Nowadays, Dawson continues to attempt to stay relevant, but no matter what he does, we're all reminded of his past action. That's our list of 10 influencers who hit rock bottom. Which of these is the worst? Let us know in the comment. For IO, I'm Ethan, and I'll see you in the next one.